NASA found organic molecules on Mars for the first time. You'll be surprised to learn that a fresh examination of organic compounds discovered in dried up Martian muck in the Gale Crater has uncovered a fascinating potential. Scientists have decided that the possibility of those chemicals having a biological origin cannot be ruled out. Although our knowledge of Martian molecules is sparse and imperfect, the evidence we do have suggests that life existed thousands of years ago on the Martian surface. In this video, we'll discuss the organic chemicals discovered on the surface of the Mars by NASA. But first, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to receive more interesting content in the future. And now, let's get started with the video. When the Curiosity rover was gathering a sample of dirt from Mars' Bagnold Dune in 2017, the spacecraft experienced an unforeseen malfunction. Its drill stopped working. Instead of canceling the expedition, NASA scientists changed the method of sampling, such that the rover put the dirt samples into containers containing a cocktail of chemicals, rather than empty glasses. Surprisingly, this sort of sampling, known as a wet sampling experiment, assisted scientists in identifying organic chemicals that had previously been unknown on Mars. Because there are only nine cups of solvent in this onboard laboratory, each of which may only be used once, researchers must be extremely selective about which samples they choose. Organic chemicals in Martian rock are extremely difficult to detect, since they break down into simpler molecules when heated. Since its arrival on Mars in 2012, the Curiosity rover has been looking for biosignatures or evidence of past life. Mars is largely made up of mud, dirt, and gases today, but it could have once been housed in lakes, rivers, and microscopic life. Curiosity could not find any biosignatures on the sample it took from Mars's Bagnold Dune, but it did find two notable molecules, ammonia and the chemical molecule benzoic acid. Despite the fact that ammonia is not an organic component, the researchers thought it could be a biosignature predictor. Molecules found by Curiosity Several chemicals were discovered in the first studies, including a family of aromatic compounds known as thiophenes. Organic compounds, like benzoic acid, are very good biosignatures markers, which are chemicals that might have originated from a previous life on Mars. These results also suggest that this approach of sample collection is feasible. The outcomes of the wet chemistry experiment were reported in the journal Nature Astronomy by the NASA team. Organic compounds including thiophenes, benzene, toluene, and short carbon chains have already been discovered in geological samples on Mars. Curiosity's unique ovens, which heat the soil and liberate molecules, were used to find these ancient chemicals. However, this approach has never been used to detect ammonia or benzoic acid. Curiosity put the dirt into a mixture of various reagents in the wet experiment, which started a chemical process that allows scientists to figure out what compounds were there back from the laboratory. These chemicals are frequently found in some rather unusual areas on Earth. They can be found in crude oil, which is made up of compacted and overheated dead zooplankton and algae, and coal, which is made up of compacted and preheated plant residues. Researchers are still trying to understand where these molecules came from and how they got there. The molecules could be the result of geological activity on the planet, but they could also be signs of prior habitability, according to the study. The sample was taken on a dune in Gale Crater, an area on Mars that is thought to have once been covered with water, and is an excellent place to explore for indications of past life. Researchers are looking forward to the launching of the European Space Agency's ExoMars mission, which will provide them with more specimens to experiment with. There are several scenarios in which thiophenes could have formed on Mars without the existence of life. Thiophenes, for example, have been found in meteorites, implying that extraterrestrial rocks may have brought the molecules in. Geological processes, especially back when Mars was volcanically active, can also create the heat required for TSR, and volcanism, of course, also supplies sulfur. When sulfur combines with organic hydrocarbons at a temperature higher than 120 degrees Celsius, 248 degrees Fahrenheit, a reaction known as thermochemical sulfate reduction, the compound is assumed to originate abiotically, that is, by a physical process rather than a biological one, TSR. The Martian thiophenes, on the other hand, are intriguing. The sulfur atoms must donate electrons to create a connection with their reaction group for the steps mentioned above to work. However, the majority of the sulfur on Mars is in the form of non-nucleophilic sulfates. 
TSR can convert them to nucleophilic sulfides. However, there is another option, biological sulfate reduction BSR. Some bacteria, as well as white truffles, can synthesize thiophenes. However, you're unlikely to find them on Mars. So it's likely that bacterial colonies existed when Mars was a hotter, moist location than it is now, around 3 billion years ago, and formed thiophenes. Even in sub-zero conditions, this might happen. The thiophenes were then left behind as Mars dried up, allowing Curiosity to scrape out from the sedimentary rock all these decades previously. Unfortunately, the sample has been tampered with. Curiosity employs pyrolysis, a sample heating method that reaches temperatures of nearly 500 degrees Celsius. As a result, the amount of information we can derive from what has remained has a restriction. Wet chemistry experiments on NASA's Curiosity rover's sample analysis at Mars equipment were created to make spectrometry studies of polar compounds like amino acids and carboxylic acids easier. The results of a successful wet chemistry experiment on Mars with the N-methyl-N start butyl dimethyl -silyl, trifluoroacetamide derivatization agent on sand scooped from the Bagnold dunes are presented here. There were no amino acid substitutions found. Molecularly derivatized benzoic acid and ammonia, on the other hand, were found. Several nitrogen-bearing molecules, as well as unexplained high molecular weight compounds, had mass spectra that matched derivatized phosphoric acid and phenol. The source of these molecules is investigated, including some that could be intrinsic to the sample analysis at Mars backdrop. This thermal decomposition experiment on Mars has increased the number of compounds found in Martian materials, and proved a powerful technique for finding polar organic molecules of biological or primordial significance. The researchers are looking forward to the debut of the European Space Agency's ExoMars mission in 2022, which will collect further samples from Mars. The Perseverance rover is also gathering samples from the Red Planet, which will be sent to Earth and studied in a laboratory. All of the many Martian missions contributed to the mystery of Mars's history, including whether or not the Martian surface has ever harbored life, or whether that life has spawned life on Earth. This new theory does not rule out the possibility of life on Mars, but it does provide a fresh explanation for organic chemicals discovered on the Martian surface. It also assists scientists in comprehending how these chemical interactions could have served as a prelude to life on Mars. NASA successfully landed the Perseverance rover on Mars in 2021. Its objective is to look for evidence of life and gather rocks and soil specimens in preparation for a come-back-to-Earth mission in the future. Following NASA missions, in collaboration with the European Space Agency, spacecraft would be sent to Mars to collect these packed samples from the planet and bring them to Earth for further research. The Mars 2020 Perseverance Project is part of NASA's Moon to Mars exploration strategy, which includes Artemis Moon missions that will aid in the preparation of the first manned spaceflight mission to Mars. This will not only advance the future but will also help scientists in their study of the Martian surface and all of the compounds discovered there. On other planets, we still have a lot more to learn. That's it for this video, but have you heard of the new plan for SpaceX to colonize the moon? If this sounds interesting to you, click the video on the screen and I will see you there.